All right, it's time to actually set up our drums now. So, we're gonna start with the bass drum. Come up here, find the leg, loosen the wing nut, bring the leg out, put it about here, tighten it, and come over to the other leg, do the same thing. Tighten it. Now there's something you might notice here, and that is that these legs are at different angles. So what we have to do is, if you look at the front and see the hoop, that one's sticking out further than this one is. So I'm going to bring this back up, re-loosen this one, and bring it a little further up like that, and re-tighten it. Now before I move on, there's one more thing we have to take notice of, and that is these spikes right here. Every bass drum is going to have some kind of metal or rubber foot on it. And this one has the option to actually have both. So if I'm on a carpet, like I am here, or a rug actually, I'll want to take advantage of these metal points to keep the bass drum from sliding around. But if I'm on a wood floor or something that I don't want to have scratched, well, that's probably not going to go over so well. So this one has the option of coming out. I can turn it. And now suddenly it has a rubber foot instead of a metal foot. So some bass drum legs will have this op option. Some won't, or they'll just be rubber. But for right now, let's leave this with the spikes out. OK. So we have our legs in place. So I'm going to write the bass drum up. Okay, now I'm going to attach the bass drum, or sorry, the kick, <laughs> the kick drum pedal, or bass drum pedal. So I'll turn the bass drum around so you can see it. Now I have my friend uh, Phil in here. He's a pink snake. Um, and he uh, helps me control the sound of my drum. But you probably won't have a pink snake in your drum. But <laughs> what we're going to do is, Use this wing nut that I mentioned earlier, loosen it, which will raise this up. Pick up the bass drum a little bit on this side, and this space right here is where the bass drum hoop is going to go. So we'll slide this over here until it fits. Now this part's pretty important so you don't damage your bass drum hoop. You want to make sure that your floorboard which is this piece right here, is totally flat. So you might have to adjust it a little bit. And then you can try tightening it loosely. And watch this, this frame right here as you tighten it. Because if it, if it bends to one side, then you need to readjust it. So if I'm tightening it, looks like I did it pretty well. So this is pretty straight on, so we can leave it here. But if it's off to the one, I'll show you for, for demonstration purposes. Let's say it's off to this side too far. If I was going to tighten it, watch this part. See how it starts to move? Going that way. If I was to tighten that too hard, it would potentially damage my hoop. So I want to scoot this back over until it's flat and retighten it like that. So this is in place. Normally I wouldn't pick up a bass drum like this, but I'm going to be very careful, pick it up from here and this hoop, and turn it around so I can set the rest of the kit. There we go. OK, bass drum is in place. Let's find our snare drum stand next, which is right over here. So, most snare stands have three arms. Some have four. This one has three. So you're going to collapse them one at a time, and fold them down, and they open out like that. Now, a lot of them have a, some kind of spinning device here, like this. And if you turn this, it, it collapses these closer together. If you loosen it, it makes them further apart. 
And in this way, you can adjust for the size of your snare drum, or whatever drum you're holding on this. So then we un undo this wing nut here, pull these three legs down on the bottom, and tighten it. And we can adjust the height if we want to by doing this with this wing nut. But I'm going to leave it all the way down for right now. Put this here. So I'm going to grab my snare drum right here, carefully place it on the snare stand. Now, as a right-handed drummer, I'm going to make sure that the stand is on the left of my bass drum pedal, which is right here. If I was left-handed and setting up my drums left-handed, this would be right here. Next, why don't we grab my tom arms. These guys are going to fit right into this thing right here. So I'll loosen this wing nut, place the middle post in the, into the uh, holder, and see how this one has a locking device so you know when it's in place? Kind of sits down into there. So I'll tighten it. That is adjustable, by the way. And each drum manufacturer will have a different system for mounting toms. So this happens to be the way that Mapex did it for this drum set. But every system will be slightly different. So, but they're all more or less the same. So let's actually mount our toms. So we'll find the high tom. There it is. Loosen this wing nut. Place it on this arm. And I have a stopper on this one, but not every drum set will, will have one of those. Tighten the wing nut, it's in place. Grab my middle tom, do the same thing, so I'll loosen the wing nut. Put it on the arm. Bring it down there to about where I want it, tighten it. Now I'll go over to, let's do the hi-hat stand. So I'll grab my hi-hat stand. Now like a snare stand, it's going to have three legs. This one's a bit different because it's it collapses down instead of up. So these legs are going to come down like this. You can kind of pull at each of them and have them come down until they're totally flat. Kind of push on to make sure they're flat. Tighten the nut. Then, like I mentioned earlier, we have to use this device right here, this bending metal piece, to find these two holes right here. So bend it together, put them in the two holes, and there you have the bottom half. So this is going to go over here. Now I'll take the top half of it, these pieces. Put this in here, slide it down, tighten it, take the post, put it in the middle, tighten it. Now some hi-hat stands um, will have different mechanisms for doing this, so it might make more sense to put the post in before you put this piece in sometimes, but on this one it's easier to do it this way. So we'll leave that there and go to our cymbal stand here. So I'm going to lower the base by loosening this nut right here, pulling these legs out, Okay, tightening the nut again. Now I'll leave this out here for demonstration purposes for a minute. Because I'm going to grab my floor tom next, right here. Now this one is a simple stand mounted floor tom. So I'm going to loosen this nut. But, like I mentioned earlier, a lot of floor toms will have three legs that go onto the floor. Hence the term floor tom. Those legs look like this. And you'll have something like three holders about there on your floor tom. And they'll hold it up by going in here, like this on each, each one. This one has one, and it's going to go right here. So you can put it there, 
tighten it down, and bring our stand over. Lastly, oh, got to get this out of the way, we have our cymbal stand. So loosen the nut, just like that one, bring it down, tighten it, set it down on the ground, loosen this, bring it up, loosen this, bring it up, loosen this, bring up the actual symbol holder part, tighten it, come back to this one, do the same thing, the symbol part. So we'll loosen this, let's loosen this one instead. Bring it up, scoot this over a little bit, it doesn't fall over. Maybe adjust this to bring this up straight. I like my simple sound straight up. And now we're more or less ready to actually assemble it the way we want it.